Hey, the Brick Master here, and it's gonna be my um another episode zero review. Uh, yeah, so the episode finally came out, so I get to review this, and it was it was actually interesting to see how uh, Masaki Masaki died. So it, it it was it was interesting. I thought it would be something else, but I see how how it is and how it correlates to the actual anime. With you know how you know if you've seen the whole anime, it makes this whole thing makes sense. It's very it's very interesting. That's all I can say. And so um, what I will say about this episode is very very interesting is that. Masaki and Mei, they were so close. Like they're just like, like this. It's just like you can't get them. You can't get them away. They're so close. I mean, it's, it's, it's sad to see that that she died. It's just you know, this they're so close together. Um, so you see the relationship and everything like that. And you know, there's a lot of talking within this episode and whatnot. You just some sometimes just some some somewhat pointless conversation. But there's a whole there's this whole suspense that got you into it. And so, um, you know, doing a lot of talking and everything like that. They explain the eye, because that she, that she can see anything, like see the eye and whatnot. She, um, Masaki, Masaki wanted me to look at her to see if, you know, anything wrong with her. Nothing wrong, you know, she's fine. She's fine. So, that was happening. And, uh, you know, they're talking about how they look alike, like, oh, they exactly alike and everything like that, for the same height, weight, and everything. That they use or use themselves like you know Mei uses Masaki as a mirror and Masaki Masaki uses Mei as a mirror like from for clothes because they're shopping for clothing and they're all like pointing to each other and whatnot which makes sense I mean they're exactly the same so yeah <laughs> um, how they started off to meet before they met each other is that some guy ran walked up randomly to this girl and was like hey baby you want I mean, when I walked to some girl but walked up to Masaki Masaki he's like hey baby you want to go out or something and he's like um she's like well you know. If you if I ever if you end up meeting a, a doppelganger of someone that looks just like me or something, you know that could be a curse. You know, you could die. And all of a sudden, um, maybe a psychic come and the guy's like, "Oh no!" He's all running away and stuff. Got scared. So it's pretty funny how how she just messed with them like that. It's funny how they first also fought so I'm seeing each other too, where, where they're wearing the same dress except one's a different color. So it's, it's weird. That's why they shot for some clothes. And so um, they're going through all that. They took they took baths together, did little weird stuff right there. Everything baths, and you know everything seemed to be just fine. Normal little episode so far, and um, yeah. So Mei Masaki and Masaki were laying in the same bed, and um, Masaki Masaki goes to sleep, and um, Mei looks at Masaki, and she sees something's wrong. It's like uh oh. All of a sudden, she's she's like in the in the red zone of, of death, and she's like oh no, I got I got to protect her. I got to do something, you know, and um. So the next day, because they also wanted to go to the, go to the museum, which, the, which is what they're talking about, because they went there as little kids and they want to go there again. And so they're going trying to go to, go to the museum, and May kept like protecting her, trying to like go go right next to her just in case something goes wrong. Goes wrong. Like there's some shady looking dudes. I will say those guys look pretty shady. Which ones like that made her like they um made Masaki a little nervous because they they're wearing like trench coats and all sort of stuff. They look kind of suspicious. That's all I can say. And all oh, but the funny thing, all they're doing is meeting up with someone else. I was like, it's weird. Um, so nothing happened be between them walking to um, the amusement park, and nothing happens actually when they're at the, um, the amusement park. They're just playing around, having a normal day, and everything looks just fine. And um, like I said, they're also explaining her, um, you know, Mei Masaki's mother and uh, Masaki's Masaki's mother, and saying, you know, what not. You know how um, y Yuki's um, Yuki is the mother of Mei Masaki, and you know she's afraid that Mei Masaki will go with uh, Masaki Masaki's mother, which is Mutsuo. So. Yeah, that's why they're having all this kind of trouble, not, like not being able to meet each other and whatnot. And that's why they were able to sleep in the same bed together because um, um, Yuki, the mother of Mei Masaki, ended up leaving for like a day or two or something like that. Which is why they're able to sleep together like that. So it was, it was, like, it was nice, fun how close they were, but no one's go nothing was going on until all of a sudden they, they did this ride. There's like a Ferris wheel ride, and you know, it's like a closed place where you're sitting in there together and whatnot, and they're talking, they're kind of saying they're like apologizing to each other and whatnot because of. How life is, and how like May lost her eye. She's saying that she didn't have, she didn't have any ill intent between uh, May, uh, Masaki, Masaki, and uh, Mitsuo or anybody. You know, it's, it's it just happened. It's like I'd rather have it to me than to you or anything like that. And that made her, made Masaki, Masaki like, oh my god, thank you. And so there's on the Ferris wheel, like look at nothing's happening, just all emotional, you know, stuff that's happening there. And all of a sudden, a freaking like, I think it was an eagle or something or a hawk. A hawk was flying. All of a sudden, he said, he says, bam, right into the. Uh, into the Ferris wheel thing, and I don't understand. Is like he hit that thing so hard, his body disappeared. He just, he just turned to mush, a blood, meat. So yeah, um, the, so um, also what I would say the door for uh, <laughs> the door that was um 
that's holding the whole Ferris wheel, not holding the Ferris wheel, but you know, they have to walk through the door to get into to, to the Ferris wheel ride. Um, there's like a screw that missed that, that was missing once that guy closed the door. That guy, that guy sucks too monitoring them and monitoring the Ferris wheel. He just went to sleep. Like, really? How you gonna, why are you gonna sleep on a ride? Like, like while you're monitoring a ride? What's wrong with you? And so the door is loose. So anybody, if, if you do a little bit of pressure, bam, you're gonna fall in there. Fall out of it. And so she did. She fell out of it. And I was like, <gasps> but then, um, Masaki, uh, catches, um, Masaki, Masaki, May catches Masaki, Masaki. It's confusing how to say this. It's like, you know, their name's too similar. But, um, yeah, they end up catching, uh, he, he ends up catching her, and it looks like she's like, it's about to be over, and she, t and she told, uh, May to let go. It's like, it's okay. It's all right. She lets go, and then all of a sudden, not Mas not May, but Masaki, Masaki lets go, and she falls down, and she's like, no! But then, all of a sudden, they're like, right next to the ground, so when that happens, it's like, don't do that! I was like, really? Because the thing is, you don't know how, you don't know how anyone could die in the show. It just randomly happens, you know? And so, everything you see in the game, you find after that. And then, um, they're walking home. Bam, this is what happens. She falls out, Masaki Masaki, and apparently, um, she has an illness. Um, it can get cured, but she needs bone marrow. Um, I can't remember what the illness is what's called, but, um, she needs bone marrow, and the perfect match is for, is May. And so, so May's like, I'll give you the bone marrow, so just, you know, hold on. Um, my, your birthday's coming up soon, so what do you want? And she's like, I want that doll that I saw that was beautiful. And the, way, the funny thing is, Masaki Masaki's personality, she, she sees things as... Like, something that look real jacked up, she'll think it's beautiful, as opposed to seeing something that's, like, perfect, or, like, a panda that's not cute. For some reason, I don't get it. But, yeah, she wanted that doll that she saw when she went to, um, Mimisaki's, um, um, place. And so, she's like, I'll give it for you. And she's like, I just want you to just feel, feel better. You don't have to give me no gifts. It's just, you're, you feeling better is the, is the best gift, gift I can get. And so, you know, as she left and everything like that, and then later tonight, uh, uh, in that, in that same night, she dies. She's, like, trying to get the doll for some reason, and she's, she died. I'm like, what the heck? So, she couldn't even last long, so... With that, we end up seeing uh, Sakaki Barakun on the um in the elevator with Mimisaki, and we see her bring the doll into that place, and which is what we see how the first episode starts off. So that's basically how the episode ended, and end up seeing the, like her casket, I guess, was that was in that place. I'm not sure because she was like a doll. She put a doll. She put this doll on something. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but yeah. So that was the episode there. It, I really liked it. It was it was nice. It was a nice compliment to the series of how you know everything went with with another. So yeah. Um, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the episode. Did you like Masaki Masaki? Because I, I don't know. I, I like her person. I wish she didn't die. She was actually cool. I liked her. And I liked their relationship between between each other. I've never seen um, May seem so um, upbeat and happy, you know? It was, it was just nice to see. So, um, yeah, like the, like the, like the review. Subscribe to my channel for some more um, anime reviews. Yeah, it's been the Breakmaster. And until then, break out.